fractional waveform has this amazing feature that you've probably never even noticed before. But it's basically an LFO that you can use to modulate or modify any parameter in any plugin that you're using in the DAW. That's an amazing feature. Let me show you what I mean. So if we grab any of our tracks and just pull it down like that, this thing appears. You can just click on that. If you're using waveform free, LFO is your only choice. But with that, you can do an awful lot. So click LFO and basically what you're going to do up here at the moment, there's just volume and pan. So it's giving me volume and pan here. Click on the this little thing, the arrow going to the, the dial. And that's basically what you want to assign. So if we click that and click volume, you, you can pull or push it by any amount. And if you notice up here, the amount that the volume is moving, while well, I move this all the way, or a little bit of the way, and likewise you can make it go upwards. If you've got something assigned and you want to remove that, then you just right click, you right click it and remove assignment, LFO mod modifier. Let's have a listen to it in action. The other thing you can do is you can change the frequency of the LFO. So every bar it'll change, go from up to down. You can do a half bar, which is double the speed. So I'll play it while I'm changing these, or you, you can do a quarter, so which is a quarter note, or a crotchet. So, uh, So you see, you can get kind of creative with that. But that's just the beginning. That's just showing you how, how it works. You can change the type. So that's sign. Random. The difference, as far as I can see, the difference between noise and random is the shape. So noise seems to be like a sine wave sometimes and like a triangle sometimes. I don't see any square, but maybe there is sometimes. Whereas random seems to be a square wave. So now you see it's all going over to the right hand side and it's not going to the left. This is a good case for the plus and minus. So then it'll go equally <clears throat> to the left and to the right. There's this one. I did that sort of pen, sort of random pen. Here's another example of these modifiers in action. If you've seen my video on creating racks, then you remember this reverb. I link to it right here. So let's grab one of these. LFO. And we can modify the pen. We go all the way from the left to the right. That's fine. We'll take it to this pen. And we'll modify the pen all the way from the right to the left. So now what's happening is they're going in opposite directions. So if we if we play back our track, we we'll get and 
we could do that with the with this pen here as well if we add another guitar in so this was it. but it requires bringing this into a rack and we can use the the next track as well we can get that to work with the same rack this is advanced rack stuff and that's our second guitar so here they're going opposite each other And when you can do that much to audio, imagine what you can do with MIDI. Imagine what you can do with a synthesizer. Keep an eye on this channel and very soon I'll introduce you to the wonderful world of synthesizer modulation in traction waveform. And you can do all sorts of things, parallel stuff and everything. It's amazing. Until then, bye bye and I'll see you soon.